This presentation analyzes the preface to the lyrical ballads with pastoral and other poems, and the following poems by William Wordsworth, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, My Heart Leaps Up, and Ode Intimations of Immortality. Overview of the Preface to Lyrical Ballads with Pastoral and Other Poems The preface to Wordsworth's book, Lyrical Ballads with Pastoral and Other Poems, was added to the second edition after Wordsworth's collection was received critically as being called oversimplified, vulgar, and common. He wrote the preface in part to explain his philosophy of poetry, which was very different than in the earlier period of Enlightenment. In a sense, the preface acts as a manifesto for the poetry of the Romantic period. He wrote about the characteristics of what he felt poetry should have in his preface to the lyrical ballads, which are summarized as follows. 1. A love of nature. Romantics believed that nature was good, pure, and awe-inspiring. They also believed that cities and society were corruptive and impure. 2. Emotions over rationality. Romantics believed that emotions were more important than reason. 3. Seeing the artist or poet as creator, as opposed to one who just describes the world. This is a result of the belief that the artist or poet creates art from his or her individual emotions. 4. Glorification of the Ordinary. Romantics believed their work should be about and by the common person and should use the language of the common person. 5. Exoticism. Romantics often wrote about far away, unfamiliar places and long ago or mythical places. 6. Supernatural. Romantics often wrote about the ghostly, surreal, magical, or irrational. 7. Gothicism. Romantics often include settings with medieval castles, the horrific, the mysterious, and the dark and gloomy. And 8. Individualism. Romantics often wrote in the first person using the pronoun I and value, valued the individual's feelings, beliefs, and interpretation of personal experience over society's values, rules, or commonly held beliefs. Not all of Wordsworth's poems have all of these characteristics, but most have at least some of them. Most often, his poetry harkens back to a time before the previous Age of Enlightenment, to the medieval period when there was a heavy emphasis on emotion, supernatural elements like ghosts, and Gothicism, the use of castles, gargoyles, and dark mysterious moods. And his poetry often reflects the belief that nature is good and society is a corruptive force on our more innocent and good, good natural state. Analysis of I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud Lord Byron was critical of the poem I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud because he felt it was overly simplistic and foolish. But the poem is very popular today due to its environmental message. Because of the severe damage done to the environment during the Industrial Revolution, the Romantics believed nature to be innocent, pure, and good. Wordsworth was critical of civilization and felt society attempted to tame or control nature. The daffodils in the poem are, are symbols of nature and are personified to emphasize the importance of nature when they are described as being a crowd and as dancing and tossing their heads and feeling the human emotion of being gay. He also uses personification to make nature come alive and appear to have a spirit when he describes the stars as tossing their heads in sprightly dance, as the waves besides them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. This poem's tome is joyous in its description and glorification of nature, as well as his natural and inward connection to nature that he describes as seeing with his inward eye, which he says that nature makes his heart with pleasure fill as he dances with the daffodils. Analysis of My Heart Leaps Up This simple poem describes his belief in the corruptive power of civilization during our brief time on earth. Wordsworth's line, the child is father of the man, is a very famous quote, as he felt children were more wise than adults since they were closer to their innocent natural state of being close to God. 
Wordsworth found religion in nature, not in organized religion. Analysis of Ode Intimations of Immortality this poem is longer but similar to the other poems discussed so far in how it reveals Wordsworth's belief that people are born innocent and pure and their experiences on earth corrupt them. In the poem he speaks as an old man ready to die who is contemplating immortality and he vaguely recalls the state of innocence, goodness and purity that he experienced before he was born and as a newborn child. He believed human experience on earth was one of corruption that makes people forget this more pure heavenly state from which people are born when they were one with God, a state that they will return again to enjoy forever after death. He also believed that nature is good and is closer to this godlike natural state of purity from which we are born and which the corruption of society slowly removes us from as we live on earth. This poem begins with a quote from his poem, My Heart Leaps Up. The child is father of the man, and I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. This quote reveals his belief that people are born innocent and pure, close to God, and the experience of living life takes them further and further away from the state of innocence that people forget about as they age. In the first stanza, Wordsworth describes his state of innocence as, The things which I have seen I now can see no more. Stanzas 2 through 4 show images of nature which remind people of our natural state and closeness to God. For example, he says that rainbows, the moon, and waters on a starry night are beautiful and fair, and sunshine is a glorious birth. He reminds us of childhood innocence and joy when he writes, the babe leaps up on his mother's arm. In stanza 5, he explains that life is a process of forgetting this innocent, natural state of our birth when he writes, Our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting, the soul that rises us our life star hath had elsewhere its setting. He explains how we come from God, and yet shades of the prison house begin to close upon the growing boy as he loses his innocence as he lives his life. In stanzas 6 through 9, he laments this loss of the imperial place whence humans came, and yet our experiences on earth can never abolish or destroy the state that nature reminds us of. Finally, in stanzas 10 through 11, he says he will not be sad in the loss of innocence and the suffering in life because nature reminds us of this natural state to which we will return again after death, and at that time this state will be immortal.